I recently uh, uploaded a uh, post on the group to invite uh, members who are new to the genre to uh, send me some uh, pictures and uh, an article to say what their issues in street photography was. And one of these, uh, one of the members who actually took up the uh, invitation was Marian Shin. So I'd like to uh, take a look at uh, her picture and um, and discuss some of the things that she actually uh, mentioned in her um, article. So the things uh, Marianne actually said that she was having difficulties were, uh, with were um, getting close to uh, people uh, and some of her settings. Now getting close to um, people is, is actually very common in street photography and this is, this is one of the areas that puts a lot of people off. Um, so there are quite a few tips around to actually uh, help you get used to this. So. I think one of the uh, issues that stop people um, taking pictures of people is um, they're wondering whether they're doing actually anything wrong, um, anything against the law. And um, I think this is, this is one of the issues that I had when I, when I started. Um, so one of the things I did was actually I, I read up um, about the law in the UK and realised that you can actually take uh, any picture of anyone or anything as long as you're standing on uh, or in, in a public place. So this is something, uh, Marianne, that you might want to um, take a look at. Just look up the law in your, in your country. Um, look at videos um, and look at articles. And this, once you, once you realise that uh, you're not doing anything wrong, this will actually increase your, your confidence. Um, so take, take a look at that. that. That might help you a little bit. I think one of the issues uh, when you are shooting a uh, street is uh, what happens if your subject does not want to be photographed. I think my, my tip for this is prepare for that. What are you going to say? Uh, if someone comes to you and say, I don't like you taking my picture, then what are you going to say? You know, uh, my, uh, my answer is I'm a street, street photographer. Uh, I'm looking for people um, with character, with their own sense of style. Nine times out of ten, they're quite happy with that. Um, if they're still not happy with it, then I will, I will delete the picture. But uh, in the four, nearly four years I've been um, doing street, I've never had to do that. Um, I think I also um, use business cards. Um, the business card will actually say my, my name and also uh, will give uh, my web page and my Instagram account. This I feel shows my subject that uh, I am uh, uh, genuine. This on many occasions has actually uh, uh, solved the problem. Uh, as long as they see that you are you are genuine, they will actually accept. I think one of, one of the tips that you could uh, use is shooting from the hip, which is actually where you, you set up your camera uh, to shoot from about five or six feet. Uh, you set, set all, all your settings um, and then you hold it down by your, your waist uh, with your finger on the shut button and you, you just shoot as seems appropriate. Uh, this technique does take a lot of uh, practice and you will be throwing away quite a lot of your pictures but when you actually perfect it, it actually works very well. Um, I think other, other tips that I can give you are um, maybe finding a corner of a, of a street, setting up your, your camera um, and then when someone comes round the corner you, you, you take a shot. The person in the shot, your subject, will actually think you're photographing something uh, behind you, uh, behind them, and uh, will be embarrassed that they've got in your way. 
Um, so you actually get quite a good um, expression on, on the face. Another tip would be um, to actually choose who you are actually going to um, photograph initially. And I think that um, easy targets would be um, buskers, entertainers, that sort of thing. Um, the thing to remember with them is that they're there for publicity. So they quite like people um, taking their picture because they hope that you will put it uh, on Instagram and they would get um, more, more visits, visitors. Uh, from that so they're actually quite happy for you to take their picture. I think that um, You know, they're not going to move they're going to stay there um, and I think that you could actually um, practice with them um, So go go and find uh, a busker start taking pictures from a Distance and then move closer 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 and this will actually improve your 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 confidence um, I think the very first street picture I took was of um, one of these um, uh, living statues. Um, he, he was there, he was staying still, ideal, ideal. Uh, and that actually built my confidence up quite a bit and it's still actually one of my, my favourite. So uh, let's look at uh, one of your pictures that you actually uh, sent to me. Um, this image is uh, of a uh, museum um, and you've got four, five people standing outside. Um, I think uh, you, are, you are fairly close, uh, but the problems with this picture is that uh, your settings are, are wrong. Uh, it's actually out of focus um, and it's got quite a lot of noise um, in it uh, and also it's very wishy-washy, uh, very pale I think. Um, so the way to get round these, um, first you're focusing, you need to set your focusing uh, uh, right. Um, I think your, your, your focus point is wrong, it seems to be more here. Uh, this seems to be um, the main thing that's in focus rather than uh, on the people here. Um, I think also you may have got some uh, camera movement. So I think um, your initial problem is that your, your shutter speed is probably uh, um, not fast enough uh, for the, uh, the situation. Um, so I think that's something for you to uh, think about. Uh, when you're photographing uh, people, um, I think your, uh, your setting um, needs to be, if they're standing still, certainly around about the, the uh, 250 mark. Uh, if they're moving, uh, probably a 500 or plus. Um, I think another issue is that, um, as I say, it is, it is quite wishy-washy. Um, and I think that this could be uh, improved if you get your um, histogram right. Um, I think, uh, I don't know whether you know much about histograms. Uh, one of the things that you need to uh, look at, uh, Marianne, is your, uh, your histogram. So um, modern cameras these days have his histograms uh, um, in the settings and you need to find where yours is and try and get it uh, displayed as you're taking the uh, picture. So the thing to look at is uh, when you're taking um, a picture, um, if it's like this with all the all the bars on the left hand side it's likely to be underexposed if it's all on this side on the right hand side then it's likely to be uh, overexposed the ideal uh, setting is to have um, like a bell in the middle like so with no lines here and no lines there and uh, that would be a, a perfect histogram of course, there are there are uh, exceptions to the rule. If you're taking a, um, a black cat at night, then everything is going to be over to the left. If you're taking a picture of a bowler pear, bowler bear in the snow, everything's going to be uh, over to the right. But in general, general daytime, then the ideal would be to have like a bar and uh, um, a bell in the middle. If you find that um, you've you've got a, a situation like, like this then what you need to do or one of the things that you can do is to open up your um, your f-stop so if it's on uh, 8 open it up to 5.6 uh, 
Um, another thing you can do is to uh, um, to change your your shutter setting. So if you're shooting at uh, um, two fiftieth, uh, then change it to uh, one twenty five, and you'll find that uh, this will actually shift your um, your your graph over a little bit. Uh, so you just keep doing that until it's actually in the in in the middle, um, and then if it's on the uh, right hand side, uh, then the thing to do would be to uh, um, change it change your f stop from say uh, five point six to f eight, uh, so it's not letting in as much light, and therefore your graph will actually move over this way. Uh, so I hope that helps a little bit. Um, there are plenty of um, videos on uh, YouTube that you can uh, have a look at, which will explain it probably better than I'm doing it at the moment.